Good morning, beautiful people! Ta-da! Wow, I like your new Ferrari! My Ferrari, <laughs> my Maserati, my Lamborghini, my McLaren. I dream! Drifting, drifting. <laughs> Don't overdo it. <laughs> drifting with my supercar. I'm so proud of you, Amor. This is a huge, huge, huge improvement. Like, it's unbelievable. Today is Monday and it is three weeks that Luca is in the hospital. Yeah, unfortunately three weeks uh, that I cannot uh, hug, kiss, uh, smell and uh, stay 24-7 with Sara and Luce. And uh, I haven't seen Luce since uh, three weeks. I miss her so much. Uh, it's hard. It's really, really, really tough uh, to be here and uh, mentally for a, a, a guy like me that it, it, it used to travel, to do a lot of things, I'm super active, uh, I'm, I'm never... Rest. <laughs> I'm no, never no. resting. I get really bored for anything, so I'm always doing uh, 100,000 of things every day, every second, every moment. Uh, it's, it's tough for me staying uh, in one room uh, all day, every day uh, for uh, three weeks uh, so mentally is a huge challenge but I'm super I mean I have a lot of energy a lot of uh, ideas uh, I would like to do a lot of things uh, and uh, one thing that uh, Sara and I we received a lot a lot of emails and messages of people who watch our videos uh, and they were in the hospital or they were in some conditions that they couldn't move uh, they were stuck at home uh, and uh, i started watching our videos from the beginning so we have some playlists uh, and uh, i started from the playlist uh, you leave everything in wonder that is the playlist basically from video one uh, to the last video and I start watching our videos one after the other because, you know, I cannot sleep sometimes during the night, uh, during the day. I need to stay uh, in the bed. Uh, I had to stay in the bed uh, for several weeks. And I have to say, the videos g gave me the freedom to, to be somewhere else. Uh, I mean, hospitals uh, are not the best place to be because you see a lot of suffering, you see a lot of things that uh, I, I don't want to mention right now. I want to mention how beautiful it is uh, to watch our videos and be able to escape all of this and be able to travel and be in those places. And especially for me, that I lived those situations I've been watching some videos on the beach, uh, on uh, in the in the wilderness uh, with Lucky Liu, with uh, <laughs> with our freedom and our live everything and wonder spirit, and it was beautiful, it was amazing. I really felt uh, good, and now I really understand all the the people and the emails and the messages of the people who were saying thank you for the videos, thank you for allowing us uh, to travel and to, to go in places where I will never be able to go or I cannot go right now. So I'm grateful also for the job that we do because uh, YouTube is, uh, is our job, but I'm grateful also for what we can uh, give uh, to people uh, beautiful. The best part of the day is when Sara comes here and uh, I take a shower and uh, she takes care of me. It's so nice, it's so beautiful. It's like being uh, her little baby. It's like being uh, a second luce. <laughs> <laughs> you are my second luce. <laughs> and it's, it's beautiful. Showering, uh, standing up. <laughs> this is love. Uh, this is true love. 
when your wife uh, wash you in the shower like this. But you are standing. This is great. I'm standing. Yes. Standing ovation. Look at that. A standing ovation. <laughs> and I feel so great after a shower. I mean, uh, it's so good. Uh, you, you really enjoy all the little things of life uh, after experiencing what I experience, uh, like just feeling uh, things in your hand, uh, that being able to feel uh, the texture of uh, things uh, and uh, things you are usually it's normal so you don't you don't think about that and like you take it for granted you yes it for like walking uh, or being able to go to the toilet alone uh, without uh, needing help or taking a shower uh, alone uh, being able to stand up i mean the sun being able to go outside and feel the fresh air and have the sun on your skin are all little things that are beautiful and uh, you enjoy it so much when uh, you lose them yeah and maybe they aren't too little at the end at the end they aren't too little <laughs> all they are big uh, big big things uh, and i'm so grateful that day by day i'm able to enjoy all of this again and uh, i can't wait to go back home but uh, sara will explain you why i still have to stay at the hospital after being diagnosed with a blood clot thrombosis your healthcare provider may prescribe warfarin for treatment although warfarin can prevent uh, blood clots from forming it can also lead to other problems like bleeding. To make sure that the medication, the treatment is working well, is working fine, patients on warfarin need a routine blood test to check a level that is called INR. That stands for International Normalized Ratio. The test measures how much time does it take for your blood to clot and if you are taking the right amount of warfarin. And a typical INR um, target ranges between 2 and 3. So if it's below 2, your blood may be clotting too much and if higher than 3, then you, have, you are at risk of bleeding. So it should be between 2 and 3. Right now, Luca's blood is not between 2 and 3, so we'll need to wait, we'll take a few days, till the blood will be at this perfect range, of this very specific range. Otherwise, you will not be able to take the medication, the treatment at home. So we have to wait for it. In the meantime, is really he has been doing so well. The progress he made with all his left side is incredible. Sarah and I, we made uh, some decisions in our lives uh, to slow down. Uh, we decided to change our jobs, uh, leave everything in wonder, choose a job uh, who allowed us uh, to have the freedom to choose uh, how much we, we want to work, how much we can stay with our daughter, how much we can uh, invest uh, in our dreams, uh, in experiences. Uh, and uh, what happened to me, it changed me even more. It, it made me slow down even more. It, it, it gave me patience, uh, it gave me this sense that I, I i don't want to i just want to feel positive things i don't want to waste uh, any time of my life uh, for negative things or complaining or uh, i don't know i'm enjoying every step to get to my previous life but i know that it will not be my previous life it will be a different life because yes. uh, this really changed me i i I am enjoying everything more. I'm so much grateful for everything. I just read an article because I'm reading so many articles <laughs> because I want to be informed and I want to study Lucas' case. I've read an article about people experiencing near-death experiences like yours. And everybody 
just told the same story. They, they were saying, my life just stopped for one second. I don't remember like that moment. And then my life changed completely. So I think that you're experiencing also this. Yeah. Being so close to death. Yeah. Uh, to losing everything. Yes. And also for the people that are close, close to, you. to you, like in this case, me, also changed my life. Because in, in the moment I... I thought I would lose Luca forever or maybe not lose Luca but maybe I could not talk with him anymore or uh, if he could have like some some damage. brain damage yeah. uh, in that moment you just realize how important it is uh, to as Luca said to enjoy every every little moment every little thing I remember the, the first thing I, I, I thought when he left with the ambulance was what I say to him, what, is, what, what was my last word to him? And I was happy because the night before I say to him, I love you. <laughs> because this is what we say every night before yeah. going to the kiss and then I love you, amore, I love yeah, you. We always uh, say good night uh, with a love you and with yeah. a kiss. And so try to say I love you more or if you are afraid to say I love you, tell I love you because it's something that otherwise you will regret it and it's a word with so much um, meaning it's so meaningful that it's really important to say I would like to say when I, I woke up after this, the three strokes and I realized that I was alive um, the, first, the first thing that I, I remember that it, I really feel, felt uh, is uh, the joy and the happiness of being uh, able not uh, to create uh, sufferance, pain uh, to the people who love me. So the first thing I, I thought it was like, imagine if, I, if I'm dead now and my mother, my father, Sara, Luce, everyone uh, they are suffering and they are in pain because of me and, uh, or, and imagine how, how, how long uh, for the rest of their life uh, they, they, they will be in pain and uh, I really felt I'm so lucky that I didn't cause uh, all that pain to them this is what I thought because I, you were I, alive so you could think about it yes I was alive <laughs> and I was like uh, I'm so grateful that I didn't cause uh, that pain because in my mind, uh, Sarah told me that I fought a lot mm -hmm. to survive, but in my mind, uh, when I had the stroke, my brain turned off. Yeah. So it basically I fell asleep. So in my mind, uh, I, I, I was like, I didn't fight enough uh, mm -hmm. for, for living. I didn't fight enough for the people who love me. I didn't fight enough to, to survive. You did it, Amore. So I, I felt guilty. I felt guilty, mm -hmm. and uh, I was so afraid to cause all this pain uh, to to my family, to my friends, uh, to the people I love. And when I realized uh, that uh, that was not the case, I was so happy and so grateful, really. Lucia, are you brushing your teeth already? Oh yes. Mm hmm. Very good. <laughs> Let's go! Choo -choo! <laughs> Today is Tuesday guys, over three weeks that Luca is in the hospital and we are waiting for the blood test to be okay. <laughs> I 
how you feel, more. <laughs> so tonight uh, Sarah will be editing this video and you will be seeing uh, this video tomorrow and hopefully we will have uh, some news uh, and uh, hopefully good news uh, next Sunday in the next episode. Yes, we have to wait a little bit. Yes. Uh, and I don't want to be too positive. <laughs> I don't want to say anything, but I think that uh, you will be home by the end of this week. Yes. <laughs> so hopefully Sunday I will be able to be again with Luce, with Sara and uh, I just want to say I love you all guys. Uh, life is beautiful, la vita è bella. Always. Always. Uh, life is a gift. Life is a gift, every day is a gift. Uh, and uh, enjoy every little thing because uh, every little thing is important. Uh, and yeah. uh, yes, we will see you next Sunday. Ciao beautiful people. Ciao beautiful people, thank you so much for all your messages, for everything. I just want to add that I will put here our PO box because a lot of people ask me about an address where uh, they can send a card for, for Luca. So here, this is our PO box in Torino, in Turin. And so we will be in Turin. Uh, yeah, for a while. For a while. Uh, because even the rehabilitation of Luca will take at least physically one month and then the treatment will last one year at least so yes. we'll be here for a while yeah but we will know everything when yeah. i will leave the hospital exactly. uh, so we don't know yet we love you appreciate you thank you for your messages thank you for your love thank you for your support uh, you are incredible you are a beautiful beautiful family ciao Ciao, love you. La vita è bella. La vita è bella, life is beautiful. Ciao. Ciao. Oh, you are so tall! <laughs> wow! Wow! Papa amore, where is daddy? Dov'è? Dov'è papà amore? Dov'è? E lì papà. E mamma dove mamma? E lì. Bravo. Sì. Bravo papà. Oh, papà. Niente, lei la mattina vuole vedere il suo papà lì. Sì. E toccarlo. Papà, e bacio, papà. bacio. Mm. Testata. Bacio, bacio. Mm.